If you've ever seen the film The Sound of Music, uh, you'll remember Doa Deer, Doa Deer, uh, Do Re Mi So Sol Fa La Ti Do, however it goes. And um, if you've ever seen the film Close Encounters of the Third Kind, even better. Uh, and it goes doo, dee, doo, 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 French bloke on stage I'll put links below into the related I've written blog post stuff about it I'll link below um, but I've been working on um, a little web toy um, to learn these hand signals um, that are associated with the notes initially associated with the notes of the major scale and uh, well today I was uh, up with Marinella and her, her niece and it occurred to me this would be a fun project for a family on a Sunday afternoon and completely forgot so hence this quick video um, so what we've got well what I've, what I've made right is this thing that's um, I'll put the link below brilliant editing here I will do a better version of this video at some point so when you open this page I've zoomed in a bit there just for demonstration purposes if you click change or click the Q key it gives you the dough and the shape for dough is like that. Click Q again. Me. That's the me shape. Fa. La. And so on. So that the the bit there is so you can learn it um, and associate it. The idea of these education lists was that by making these visual associations, and each of these is meant to have the gesture is meant to be have some mental in associations with the feeling of the tone what um, what part of the scale it is whether it's kind of leading forward or whether it's going down or whether it's solid like the dough um, but for the machine learning purposes I've set it up uh, camera change again I don't know how visible this is going to be probably terrible but I suggest you just um, follow the link below. Uh, I better have zoomed in. I don't know what my normal zoom is. And it's still zoomed in, damn you. What's normal zoom? Uh, okay, so here. Um, over here I've got a webcam uh, over here a webcam attached to the computer <laughs> this is going to be really crap uh, I've got a webcam attached to the computer and um, on here start camera it will start this camera up uh, and that's the place you put your hand in front of the camera so that's a T so it's something like that okay and then still not zoomed in right there yeah, that's better so I've got a T well let me do change here you go, start with a change. Me, I'll do a me. Now I'm going to do capture, and it's taken a, a snap of that, capture of that from the camera, turned it grayscale, and it shrunk it down. Then, this will be very helpful for me if you do a save on that. If you're happy that your signal corresponds to that one, do a save. I've got notes on how to get th how to get this stuff to save quickly in the description, and um, um,
I don't think the actual the I don't think the background makes any difference. It shouldn't do. If I get enough data, the background won't make any difference. So capture. Oops, that was change. So do again. Do. I think as long as it kind of fills the screen pretty well. Um, ow, I've been bitten by mosquitoes now as well. Um, so capture W and then save T. And then, like, hopefully, it will be possible to go through these pretty quickly. So, Q, W, T. Q. Q. W. T. And there it saved it, that mini picture. Ray again, W, T. Do. And I might as well mention the, um, the, how I'm thinking of treating the machine le learning angle on this. One of the standard data sets for um, testing machine learning systems is MNIST. And it's um, a, a big database of photos of, well, captures of um, hand-drawn characters zero to nine, like just drawn, and they're labelled with what character they actually are. And so you feed those into the neural network or whatever, and it says, oh, that's a one. It's not a one, change. Next time it says, oh, it's a two. Yeah, it is a two. Yay, bravo. And so you just keep feeding them. Um, the Ebenist data set has got about 70,000 of these digitized image in total. Um, this, I probably need, probably need that many. But just as a kind of proof of concept, if I can get, but MNIST aims, like people are getting kind of 97, 98 kind of percentages um, with different algorithms on accuracy between matching the image to what it's meant to be. And, um, if I, can, if I can get better than 50% on this, that would be brilliant. Um, but it's just what I want, I'm doing it because I want to get my head around some of the, the basics of machine learning a bit better. And by doing it through this, I reckon I can use the, exactly the same machine learning tools as this MNIST dataset uses, but just provide it with this other one. And... Uh, so, if uh, you care to capture any data for me, then please do. Uh, otherwise, why not just learn the hand signals? Boop, 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 boop. The, I should point out that the um, Close Encounters one, it goes do 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 do. It drops an octave in it. And I think it was Codely, the second guy. It wasn't originally his system, it was uh, like someone called Kerwin. Uh, and he added it so that I think you could have like do, do kind of thing. You could do octaves with the shapes. Um, and then I've, I've also seen, not looked into it, that there are kind of the semitones. Um, so to do, this wouldn't be, this won't be able to do the Close Encounters theme. But if I can just hold a, sh hold a fist to the camera and it goes do, whatever, or me, or whatever they are. I've not learned them yet, and I've captured about 10 pieces of data. Um, well, you know, a bit of fun on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs>